Welcome to ProCAD's online tutorials. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to get started with AutoCAD. The AutoCAD user interface is made up of toolbars, pull down menus, prompts and dialog boxes. As you can see there's insert, annotate, parametric, view and more. Home is what you'll use the most. Before we start drawing we want to set our units. This can be found in drawing utilities, units, as you can see, mine's already set to millimeters, so I'm just going to select OK. Next, we have to s save our drawing. What to save as drawing? Mine is saved as a drawing template, which is .dwt. I'm going to save it on the desktop as demo training. Next, I'm going to demonstrate how to select and deselect objects. First I'm going to draw two lines, just to show you. The lasso effect is what I'm going to demonstrate first. By holding down the left button on the mouse, you can highlight objects in an irregular pattern. When highlighting left to right, everything in the selection window covers is highlighted. From right to left, everything in the selection window touches is selected. Click on the left button once creates a rectangular selection window. Just going to delete these and show you the next feature. The next feature I'm going to demonstrate is the snap points, which can be found in the bottom right hand corner highlighted. The first is restricted, restricting the cursor orthogonally, which snaps the line to 90 degrees, 180, 270, and 0. There's also snap cursors for 2D reference points. I've selected endpoint, midpoint, diameter, and tangent. I'm just going to demonstrate how these work by drawing a line. When you look closely, you can see one says endpoint, the midpoint, and the second endpoint in the line. Polar coordinates is the next feature. If you click on the location of your first point, find the cursor in the direction of the second point and enter the required length of the line. Press the tap button on the keyboard and enter the angle required. Next I'm going to demonstrate the line command. In the line command, first you have to enter your coordinates. I'm going to type 0 for the x coordinate, press the tab key, then 0 on the y coordinate. This brings you down to your point. I'm going to demonstrate how to construct a polygon. I'm going to type 200 for the first length. Select a line again. And use the snap points to start again. The next feature is a polyline. It follows the same format as the line command. And however, it is an object created with a polyline is one object, unlike an object created in the line command. I'm going to demonstrate this when highlighting the two objects. When highlighting an object drawn by line command, every single line can be highlighted. However, the polyline is one, one object. Construction lines is the next feature. The command creates a line of <coughs> infinite length along two selected points and is useful for creating grids in which to design. I will zoom out to show these are infinite. If you make a mistake or want to change the drawing, you can undo, which is found in the top left hand corner. Circle is the next command. I've selected center radius. Use the snap points to select the center and the midpoint of the line 
to create the radius. From here you can select the number of options in order to draw a circle such as center radius, center diameter. I'm going to select center diameter. Again select the center of the circle. I'm going to type the diameter this time as 100 and press enter. The next feature I'm going to demonstrate is the arc. From the drop down menu you can see there's options like start, center, end, start, center, angle. I'm going to go with three point. First you select your first point, the center point and your end point in the arc. The next feature is a rectangle. For the rectangle, you select your first point and then your second point. Also, it can be manually entered your lengths. The next feature is a polygon. First, you enter the number of sides, then select the center. You, can, you have the option to inscribe or circumscribe. Circumscribed is outside the circle, as you can see. Ellipse is the next feature. From the drop down menu, you can see I'm going to select axis end. First, you select the length of your axis and then the width of your ellipse. Thanks for watching ProGuides online tutorials. For more tutorials, see our link from the YouTube and also our website where our Facebook, Twitter and more can be found.